I'm going to show you how to bring in Excel values into CQG IC. Uh, the first thing you need to know is your workbook name, demo xlrt.xlsx in this case, but whatever workbook you've got, you need the full name and extension. We also need the worksheet name and whichever cell reference we want to bring in. So then we go to a chart in either QTrader or CQGIC, if you have the enablement. We will add a study. You, the category of study for these is external data studies. And since it's a single reference, we're using XLRT or Excel real time. The study appears blank at first until we set up the parameters. So we open up the modify study parameters. We give it the demo xlrt.xlsx real time e5. OK. And here's the value in Excel. I had actually placed this earlier, and so it's showing me cached history of that live updating cell. And under normal conditions, this will continue to cache values as long as new buyers build. But if I do anything with this chart, like change the interval or clear the data cache, that will go away. Real quick, uh, I will show you how to use this in a custom study. So here, you can use um, XLRT and Excel time series TS in conditions, custom studies, and trade systems. Conditional alerts for you know, alert trading, things like that. But here I'll just show it as a custom study. We'll call this demo XLRT again, or how about just demo RT. And over in the formula toolbox in the study category, you drag down to the X's, we'll find that study, insert it. Again, we have to set up our parameters, demo XLRT dot XLSX. You need it all real time E5. Cell reference is not case sensitive. And I want this to be overlaid because it's sort of a moving average twist and it's going to look appropriate on top of the price scale of the chart I'm looking at. So now when I add a study, I want to go out of this category to custom studies where I just created it and we called it demo RT. And there it is. If I right click here and modify it, and we want to make that scale on, we can change the color, change the weight, right? And any other, you know, just like any other custom study. Finally, what's great about this is I can right click, show it on a trading interface, and you can see it pop up on a DOM ticket, for instance. And uh, from here, I could right click, place an order that will follow that, right? As this value goes up or down, this order will follow it until it's filled, if that ever happens. And that's it. Ask your salesperson for a trial. If you have CQG trading, you're already enabled for this. And if you're having any trouble figuring out how to use it or how it could be beneficial for your trading, please don't hesitate to let us know. We're happy to help.